Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda of your three lords into the matter. Now last time we were looking for a lead. Something that would get us to the kind people. That should know about how to fix the third tower. Yeah. Could be handy. Because yeah, there's the wire. That, there's the wire I previously scanned. Well, I was about to scan and then immediately forgot about. Then it just ran here and ran away. Immediately afterwards. So is this through here? No. Is this a, this is a fucking door, isn't it? Well, not necessarily for fucking doors can be just used to be opened as well. Probably the recommended use for doors is indeed to close and open them. And the indeed calling something a fucking door is an exaggeration and a falsehood. Hello, console. Let's see what you do. Oh, this activated an elevator. Then what's in this direction? Just a wall? Cool. Except not very impressive to be honest, it's just a wall. Let's keep our scanner open for the moment. See what we can see. Okay, so this is not an elevator, this is very much A manual job. This under the hand is a gravity well. Let's give this a try. Oh, we have sideways gravity now. That's new. Bye, friends. I'll see you shortly. Oh my, when did you get here? Okay, th this looks like a hole in the wall. Oh, it's a hazard level 3 the hole in the wall. That's... That's relatively obvious. What are we looking at? No one's afraid of heights, are they? Like it's left out to look. Bam. It just focuses some uh, in the center of wherever, instead of showing me what I was supposed to be looking at. Just because I was slightly too late in hitting the button. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, there's another gravity well here, probably takes us to the top. Or deeper. Into the abyss. So we've already been to the abyss. And you already know what to expect from the abyss. Why do you have red pants again? I'm gonna assume that that is just from the fact that those pants are kit design. And not at all from the fact that they thought those pants get designed. I don't remember, I just might have chosen enough red and it's just uh, more prominent on the pants. Which we can't really see because the in trousers are in the way. I have heard of the sages of Mithravar, but never gave them much thought. Why not? Isn't his story worthless if it isn't shared? If they are 
accounts of our past are kept hidden, they may as well not exist at all. Ooh, there's... There's loot promised to be here. Hi! Goodbye, little nullifier. I will take your equipment. What do we have here? And back up. Get up, get up. What you gonna do now? Must it get back? Who cares? Alright, so that is the staircase. I'm supposing that we should go around and see if we can find another way up. It's most supposing that we're not meant to go all the way down. Since we are trying to make our way up to the sages. Ooh, that's a nifty statue. Please accept my beatings. It's like teachings. But more violent. Don't beat your kids, kids. What? I mean, you get my point, I'm sure. Okay, do the remnant concert thing. I'm curious. Above. I don't know what we're looking at, but okay. Guess we've unlocked another jumping puzzle. Oh, I almost ran right off of that. Luckily for me, that does not cause any damage. Did you say that they lowered the other side as well? Does it look like it? I thought that was why we were looking at that direction instead of this one. It might just be that I don't know how to use the focus view thing at all. Now load it there. That's like even worse solution than Nyaudi. Hmm, I've seen better remnant bridges. This one looks like a hack job. Hi. Fly away, be free. Oh, that's a breacher boy. Or is it safe to say a preacher's kid? Well, no, it's an assembler's kid in that place, case. Hello, hello, hello. And where are we supposed to go from here? Up. Oh, right. Makes sense. Since we are heading to the top, we probably want to go up. I wonder if these sages know actually how to operate these bridges. Or if they're just sages up there because they're stuck up there and they're not actually sure how to get down. And the real reason why they aren't sharing your histories, their histories even, Look is... That. Oh yeah, that's, that's a nice view. Look at the fishmen. They're not fish. They're not whales either. They're like uh, strange flies. This this planet has like really obvious stuff going on in regards of. Is this the third tower? It can't be, can it? I feel like there's. I can see the two. Where is number three?
Hey y'all, do you know where the thing is? Well, you're not even here. I need to go even higher. Better pass me the plant, we're going even higher. Oh, wait, 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 before we go even higher. Oh. This was once again an illusion. My eyes were deceived. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what my eyes had this had done to deserve this deception. You bypassed our security. How is that possible? An alien. I'm Ryder, Pathfinder with the Andromeda Initiative. From the Milky Way galaxy. That does not explain how or why you are able to operate the remnant doors. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Havarl could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On Mithrava, we have accepted Havarl's eventual ruin. You're just giving up on your planet? Isn't this your birthplace? Don't you want to save it? A chasm separates want from can. What you ask, no one can give. The memory of the monolith resides within a thread that has slipped from our grasp. I'm not sure I follow. We believe in reincarnation. An unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai. A champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object's heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past, with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, Zorai's soul, was reborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Hmm, that'll be difficult. That's why you're here, Jal. They won't like that I'm helping you. This may be a dead end, but we have to try. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now, there is hope. Tell me more. You have questions? Tell me about reincarnation. Tell me more about your belief in reincarnation. The soul grows through many lifetimes. By seeing through different eyes, it gains wisdom. How do you grow if you don't remember? The growth of the soul is not like the growth of the mind. Memories are not required for the soul to develop. Some even argue that old memories are an unwelcome distraction. A person may become fixated on what was, and their soul consequently stagnates. You mentioned an heirloom. An object you think will bring Zorai's memories back? Souls return within families. Sometimes the memories of the past can be recalled by an object meaningful to that family. We do not understand why or how this happens, and it has only happened on rare occasions. In all cases, the heirloom was ancient. Old Ankara tech from before the Scourge. Tell me more about Zorai. The histories describe him as both scholar and soldier. He traveled the stars and gained knowledge from far-off places. There are even accounts of him having knowledge of the remnant builders and their machines. And the third monolith? Our legends say that Zorai sought out the monoliths after the Scourge came. He died. And it is unclear if he accomplished what he set out to do. Why do you remain secluded here? The chaos brought on by the Scourge splintered our people and all but destroyed our civilization. 
idea took hold. False beliefs about our predicament were seeded and began to influence Ankaran thought in order to maintain the integrity of what they knew to be true. Four families left their community to come here. We've remained ever since. I'll go. Thank you for speaking to me. Of course. Ha! I won't go anywhere. Hi. Hello. Hi. As much as you wander around with no supervision, you're interrupting our lesson. Could use more interruptions. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. And yet you're still here. As I was saying, the propulsion system that took Bashal to the skies was inspired by four remnant pieces. And that's just one. Much of our progress was prompted by the discovery of remnant artifacts. Where are these artifacts you're talking about? The few that still exist reside in Aya's repository. However, many have been lost. Though there are rumors that as wilds grow wilder, things long buried may be unearthed. It might be wise to study whatever we find. Something out there might give us an edge against the Ket. You believe the Angara learned crucial scientific ideas from the Remnant? It is not just belief. It is a matter of record. Some artifacts were even left in unfinished states, likely to demonstrate how they were put together. I think I'll leave you to your lesson. About time. Oh, what's this? Important alert. This notification terminal has been experiencing occasional issues, namely sudden memory dumps. Charvey is due to look into it shortly. In the meantime, try not to tax the system too much. As you all know, Sis Jaskar made a pilgrimage to Aya a year ago to request copies of the repository's most recent archaeological theories and findings. He and his assistants have been cloistered since then and have only just completed their analysis of the material. They have collated the records that are consistent with Mitrava's canon and have incorporated them into our histories. The rest have, of course, been relegated to the archives where they are available for study. Sage Jaskar will be presenting the information he's compiled at the end of the week. You may want to re-familiarize familiarize yourself with Tales of the Sundering before coming to the forum. The meeting will be held in the lower archives. Our contacts on Aya and Vold have sent us more information about the extended families and descendants of several of our revered historical figures, including Ishaf, Beshal and Saray. I am looking for volunteers to analyze the data to ascertain the possibility of soul transfer. Please let me know as soon as you can. Hey Charvey. Ah, good. I wanted to talk with you. How are you able to use the remnant? With an artificial intelligence that helps with analysis and translation. So that's the trick. I wouldn't have guessed. Angara, who live close to remnant technology, sometimes learn how to use specific tech. It requires intense concentration, and even if we can make it work, we've never understood how it works. So, some of you can use remnant tech, but you don't know how it works? Not all remnant tech, no. Like I said, specific pieces. Take Mithrava, for example. Some of us can operate the security that protects the sanctuary. The knowledge was passed down through generations. In my case, it took a year to learn how to open a simple door. The difference between knowing you can eat a tree's fruit and understanding why that tree bears fruit. Fair enough. I should be going. Suit yourself. Ooh, more loot. Pardon me while I take all of your meditation crystals. Ooh. Selav who remembers. History's breath, it moves through us, gives us life like breath, it cannot be caught in class. Selav decided that once in every 50 cycles of our sun we should reach, would reach out to archivists in Aya to renew our knowledge of our people. Thus, we remember. Activating automated forward station deployment. Well, this looks a little, um, presumptuous, doesn't it? This looks like a perfect place for a shrine. Let's put our forward station here. 
Okay. From the reactor I had not the next research to Suvian War. I hope expect that's not the normal life cycle of that plant you were looking at. And unpredictable patterns like that would wreak heaven on an ecosystem. My only guess is that it's caused by the remnant technology present. If it can change the atmosphere of an entire planet, much to say it could somehow affect changes on a cellular level. The question is, is it working as intended? Some twisted experiment or malfunctioning? I prefer to say it's the latter, but I've learned not to make assumptions when it comes to remnant. More data needed. Alright. Then I will be looking into more data. Oh, another inscription, another statue. After the scourge destroyed our civilization, chaos and fear ruled that we lost sight of our true selves. Jeffrey the Founder took us away from that influence so that we could remember the past of clarity. Clear hearts know who we were once, who we were once, and clear eyes see who we are now. Cool. I mean, I get your point, like... I also understand that you had no intention of allowing me to just come around and scan your data. Oh, data. Hello, I'm here to scan your data. As death nears, it's harder to face the possibility that I might never see Amara again. Sorry to interrupt, but what's happened? Ahmad is ill. He hasn't got much time left. Ahmad, perhaps this stranger can help. If they've been to Palet, maybe they've seen something. I came from Palev, actually. The little research station? Research station? It used to be a large settlement. A dar. Amara moved them when she left Mithrava. Her love was overtaken by the jungle, remember? A few cycles ago, everyone left. Oh, yes. I, I remember now. But that means Amara's gone. There might still be a way to track her down. All Dara keep records, don't they? If there was an organized evacuation, they would have documented the process. And the records would state where she went. Pala, that's genius. Where would they keep those records? Likely some kind of administrative building. If it still stands, and the machines still work, it's a slim hope. I don't want to impose, stranger, but I would welcome any news of my sister. Yeah. I pray you find something about Amara. Paula said you were ill? Yes. An incurable condition that occurs frequently in Mithrava's population. We lose the ability to effectively absorb sunlight. The Angara rely on sunlight for bioenergy. Without it, we weaken. Eventually, my body will be unable to sustain brain function. I'll fall into a coma and die. Tell me more about your sister, Amara. We were born here, but she grew up and disagreed with Mithrava's principles argued against our seclusion. When she could not sway the others, she left, choosing to join Angara society. It's been over 30 years now. There were others in our litter, but it was different with Amara and I. We were Vasta Nari, a shared soul. I have a twin. It's not exactly the same thing, but I think I know what you mean. Family, but closer than most. <laughs> Perhaps you understand a little. I'll leave you now. I hope you find news of Amara. I would be so grateful. Okay, but that apparently needs us to get the bridge available, for which I assume we are, we are going to need to accomplish things. What is my memory doing Same. here? Another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. The rest of our Moran are shattered. The rest of our people have always mocked and despised us. When Shepherd decided we would leave a part of them, we needed to be safe. Moran was able to use what she knew of Remnant to find us a home here. 
on the constructive Fort Mifrava sanctuary. It's an approximately 300 years old statue. And approximately how long did we come here again? Also, were the Geth fully aware of the Reaper fleet by the time we got there? Though uh, apparently I was able to scan that f bunch of fungi, I didn't realize. I was just holding my thing out, hoping for the best. Holding your thing out and hoping for the best. That's probably not how you should do things most of the time. Hey, hey, you look like you could be talked to. Get like a thing to you. Nah. I see. I see you're just being mean. And understandably so, you're just uh, protecting your civilization. Is that your ceremony? Ooh. Pardon me, there's a solar heater here that I have not scanned before. Alright, back to the map. Mm. That is the Remit Abyss. Upper Mifrava Descent, Mifrava Descent. The Forgotten Depths, Purit Cave, and Planet Surface. We want to go back to... Wait, are we actually expected to go into the Remnant Abyss now? We were already there. I guess it'll be time for Remnant Abyss War 2. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go back to the Remnant Abyss. Bye bye.